Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and bago ka pa lang dito, my name is Sen, I do sewing and pattern making tutorials. So for today's video, gagawa tayo ng pattern and sewing tutorial na contoured hood foundation. So we have two types ng hood, yung contoured and then the loose type. So for now, I'll be showing to you yung contoured type which is medyo fitted siya sa ulo. It has two darts, meron sa overhead and sa neck part. So yung hood natin is naka-attach sa neckline starting at the center front. So let's get started. First, we need the overhead measurement. Place measuring tape at center front neck and hold end of tape while measuring up and over the head. Next is horizontal measurement. Place tape at hairline at eye level and measure to other side. So, kailangan din natin ng front and back pattern para dun sa neckline. So, first is mag-draw lang tayo ng L-line. So, dun sa vertical line, mark natin ng A to B which is the overhead measurement. For example, 10 inches. Next is B to C, which is equal to A to B measurement less than 1 inch square from B. So, kung yung nakuha natin na overhead measurement is 10, minus natin ng 1, so that's one, 9 inches. So, next is C to D, um, equal siya to 1 and 1 half inch. So, square from C. So, yung A to E. 1 half of AB naman siya. And then, i-mark natin yan na E. So, node is E to F equal to 3 fourth inch squared from E. F to G is equal to horizontal measurement square from E. So, yung measurement ng horizontal natin is 8 inches. So start measuring from F. From F, not from A. Ah. So from F to G. Next is B to H, which is equal to 1 inch. Mark natin yan ng H. So node is B to I, 1 half of BC. So you measurement ng BC, half of that, I mark natin yan ng I. That is your point I. So this time, kailangan natin ng back pattern para dun sa neckline. So ilagay lang natin yung back pattern. Naka-align siya sa AB line, yung center back. And then trace back neck to corner of shoulder. So ilalabel natin yan na point J. So, trace mo yung neckline and then mark natin ng point J. Yung next natin gagawin is to move the back pattern ng 3 fourth inches parallel sa AB line natin. So, minark mo po muna yung 3 fourth inch and then, saka ko ita i-align yung center back. Doon sa marking natin na 3 4 inch. And then, trace yung shoulder line from corner of neck to midpoint of the shoulder. So, ilalabel natin yan ng point K. So, yung corner na yan is point K. Sunod natin gagawin is to extend yung line na shoulder dun sa may K mark. So, kailangan natin ngayon is yung front pattern ng yung bodies. So, place shoulder of front pattern on guideline with corner of neck touching point K. So, yung corner ng neckline natin dapat mag-touch dun sa point K. 
And then, i-trace natin yung front neck. So, ilalabel natin yung center front ng point X. So, point X yung sa center front. K to L is equal to 3 inches. So, i-mark natin yan na L. L to M is equal to 3 inch. Mark and draw line from H to M. So, after marking the point M, connect natin yan to point H with straight line. H to N is equal to 3 fourth inch. So, mark natin yan ng N. Then, square out 1 and 1 eighth sa both sides ng N natin. So, yung both sides na yan, that will be your O and P. So, point O and point P. Next is to get the one-third measurement ng H to M natin. And then, kapag nyo nakuha nyo na yun, i-mark natin yun. That will be your Q or point Q. Then, after that, Connect natin yung Q sa P and then Q to O. So, yung next natin gagawin is to shape the hood. So, draw outward curved line of hood. Connect natin yung point A, F, O and point P, I and D. So, I'm using my French curve para i-connect yung mga points na yan. So, kailang, basta kailangan lang natin na may curved line yung ating uh, ruler na gamit. Pwede din pang armhole ruler. So, outward curved line. Next is draw inward curve from D, G, L to X. So, ngayon naman is pa inward naman. Blend at point G kung kailangan. Sunod natin gagawin is the neck guard. So, mark natin yung center between point J and K. And then, mark natin yung 3-inch line parallel with AB line. So, mark natin yan ng point R. So, yung haba nyan is 3 inches. And then, i-connect natin yung R to point J and point K. So, magiging dart yan. So, yun yung neck dart natin. Next is to mark midpoint ng O to Q and Q to P. So, once makuha nyo yung midpoint, i-mark natin yan. And then, measure out 1 8 inch. So, mark natin ng 1 8 kapag nakuha nyo yung midpoint. So, after mo ma-mark yung 1-8 measurement na yan, so, guguhitan natin ng curved lines connecting points Q with O and P. So, French ruler ulit. So, ito yung ating overhead dart. So, may ginawa na ako dito na pattern na may kasama ng sewing allowance. So, cut to tayo dyan. So, bago natin i-attach yung hood, i-trim muna natin ng 3 8 yung front and back neckline natin bago natin i-attach yung hood. So, ang unang gagawin ko is to close yung darts yung sa my neck and sa overhead natin. So, ang sewing allowance natin dito is 1 fourth. So, ako usually, um, 
kapag medyo alanganin yung position ng dart, minamarko siya. So, na yun nakikita nyo sa fabric mismo, may marking sa kung ginawa. Saka ko siya i-close. So, ito yung ating neck dart. So, after natin masara lahat yung darts, pwede na tayong mag-edging. So, yung mga cut, lahat ng cut edges natin, i-edge natin. I-edging natin. After natin ma-edging, pwede na natin isara or tahiin yung dalawang pieces na yan. So, nasa 3 eighths yung ating sewing allowance. Then, make sure na i-mask nyo yung darts sa may overhead. So, dun sa may harap ng ating hood, naglaan ako ng 1 inch towing allowance. So, if fold in mo lang yan and then top stitch natin. So, after that, pwede na natin i-attach yung ating hood sa ating bodies. So, i-match natin yung mga seams and yung sa shoulder, sa shoulder dart, or sa neck dart. So, sewing allowance natin again here is 3 eighths. And this is the final look ng ating contoured hood foundation. for watching and I hope you learned something new from this video. Huwag nyo kalimutan. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!